power in strengthening the people component is getting the right people into the right seats. What is a right person? Right person is someone who's in alignment with your core values. They're people you love. Now, core values have become trite over the years, but if you use them the right way and you discover them and you use your core values to surround yourself with people you love and using the people analyzer tool, which is one of the tools in the EOS library to rate all of your team members. If you have three core values, maybe they're humble, hungry, and smart as Patrick Lencioni's core values are in his book, The Ideal Team Player. You rate your team members and yourself. Am I a plus, a plus minus, or a minus as it relates to each of those three core values? And no one's perfect, but for a team of three core values, if you have two pluses and one plus minus, that is what we would consider the bar, you're in alignment with the core values. Life's too short not to work with people we don't love and energize us. People that are on our same wavelength. That's a right person. Then you need to look at how do I get everyone into the right seat? And so the power of getting everyone in the right seat is using a tool called the accountability chart. The accountability chart is another tool that's in the EOS library, in the EOS toolbox, and the power of using the accountability chart is taking a structure first approach. And what I mean by structure first approach is say you're leading a sales department and say you have five sales reports right now. Structure first approach is disconnecting from all the people that are on your team currently saying, if I had to blow this thing up, what is the right and best structure that is going to get me to my goals this year? We're sitting here in March. What's the structure that I need? Do I need you know, two hunters? Do I need two farmers that are harvesting the, the leads that are already coming in? And do I need someone who's focusing on social media and SEO? Is that the right structure from a function standpoint? Once we're clear on the structure, then you need to get clear on the roles. What do I need each of those people to be accountable for? Well, I need the social media SEO person doing this. I need the hunters making X amount of phone calls and, and hitting these sales numbers. And I need the farmers doing this, maybe doing some customer service and supporting a lot of the leads that are coming in organically. Once you're crystal clear on the role, then you can look at the five team members you have. And you say, well, do these five team members, can do they GWC? Do they get it? Do they want it? Do they have the capacity to go into those seats? And odds are, Maybe you need that social media SEO person. Maybe you've been struggling because that person who's a hunter doesn't want to spend any time on social media and it's been painful for that person. Or maybe you realize that you've had four farmers and you're not hitting your numbers because you don't have the people who are being proactive in growing your business. Structure, then get clear on the roles. Then and only then do you put people into seats do they GWC those seats? And so that's how you go about getting the right people into the right seats. You need to have both. That is the people component.